If you're looking for a home on a premium corner lot with four bedrooms, well, I might have just found the perfect home and the perfect lot for you. Welcome back to another video. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Wendelie Quinones, and in this channel, I have committed myself to providing you guidance in your real estate journey here in the beautiful Sunshine State and finding you the best deals. So if this is something of interest to you, I invite you to subscribe to this channel, like this video, turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my weekly videos. So before we take a look inside, I wanted to show you guys this little area that we have here. It's a nice area to put some seats out here. That way we can wake up in the morning, on the weekends, and just have our coffee, have our tea. We do not have a covered lanai in the back, but you do have a porch here in the front of your home before going inside. Now let's go ahead and go inside. So in today's video, we are back in Ocala, Florida, the Marion Oaks area. Similar to all the homes that I have shown, very few of them are outside of Marion Oaks. So that kind of gives you an idea of where we are. Again, we are only 25 minutes from downtown Ocala, only a little over an hour to the Orlando International Airport and downtown. And we are only 90 minutes from the Disney parks and a little bit over that. If you want to go to Tampa and Clearwater, we're just, we're really close to here. Now from this home specifically, we are only seven minutes from I-75. So if you want to go anywhere in Central Florida, this is perfect for you. Now let's talk a little bit about the home that you see here behind me. This home is a four bedroom, two bathroom home, a little over 1,400 square feet, and it sits on a premium corner lot of 0.29 acres and it is in a beautiful location very quiet very calm very tranquil with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of this home so when you walk into this beautiful home the first thing you're going to see is our living area now it is an open floor concept now the thing i love about this one is it's one of those homes where it's open but you have everything separated so you have your individual locations for each um, social area now in this case it would be considered the living area it is actually really spacious you can put a nice sectional coming out on this side or you're somebody who maybe you don't want to walk the entrance maybe you can just put a nice couch here and some seats on this side that way you still have entry from the sides and you can put your TV up on this side over here. You still have a place to put that Christmas tree if you are somebody who celebrates the holidays over here or maybe you can put like a nice little accent mirror or something over there. And you have this wall also where you can put maybe family portraits or maybe on this wall you can put some more mirrors, a nice little accent table with a large mirror on this side but just to give you guys an idea it is a really big uh, living room and we also have our cathedral seating so that allows us to um, get a little bit more of an extra feel in this home now just to give you guys an idea of the distribution of this home this side is the primary bedroom and then this side are the other bedrooms so now we're going to go ahead and go into this hallway so we can see the bedrooms of this home so now we are in our first bedroom now in this case you can see that the home in the bedrooms does have carpet and we do not have ceiling fans in the hole but you do have a light there are some builders who do not even put the light but in this case we have that we have carpet and you do have that option to upgrade and take it out for an extra cost now the flooring is unique the tile flooring that we have throughout the house so you might have something similar but not exact just keep that in mind if you do not want carpet here now we do have our tempered glass window and we are facing the side of the home in this case and of course we do have our nice size closet here gonna go inside and see it's just a pretty good size it's not the longest I can touch both sides of the wall here but it's still a good size especially if this is a guest room or maybe an office or a storage room or if you have children this is a good size so, so now we're actually gonna walk out into the hallway now right again like I said earlier this um, house has the room inside uh, to the left so now in this case you can see that coming out of this room we are led directly 
into the bathroom to our right. So this would technically be the bathroom where the three rooms on this side share and it would be the guest bathroom as well. It is at the end of the hallway to the side of the home. In this case, they did put the same tiles that they, ceramic tiles that they put in the floor. They put it all to the ceiling and you also get your nice little, um, and you also get your nice little shelf here so that we can store your soaps and your um, shampoo and everything that we need here. Now, in this case, we do have only one sink in this bathroom. We have your nice white countertop. This is actually a really pretty color. It's not some, one of the ones that we've seen in the other videos where every builder kind of does their own customization, but this one actually goes with the floor of this home. So now we're gonna walk out of this bathroom and before we get to the um, other rooms and the laundry area, we are gonna see that here we have a linen closet, which we all need, we love our linen closets. You know, that's something that we absolutely must have and it's pretty spacious. So we're gonna continue down this hallway and to the right, you're gonna see that we have our laundry area here. So this builder does not include the washer and the dryer, but we have our deals. Black Friday is coming up, that might be a little far away, but if you end up buying a home with this builder at that time, you can find some deals. And if not, we'll just look at other deals around. But you do have your standard rack up top, so that we can store our detergents and everything. And right here behind me, this door. So now we are stepping into that two-car garage, and I actually really like this garage because um, you can see that they organize everything here very, very neatly, very nicely. And not just that, you kind of have this added area right here. So you can kind of, if you're somebody who does like a workshop or you like to do some DIYs in the home, um, you can definitely set up a little workshop stand right here. You have the plug at the height for that um, table and maybe you could put like a pegboard up here to organize all your tools. But you kind of have this little section where you can kind of do whatever and you still have a very spacious area for those two vehicles here. And we have the entrance to the attic here up top. And let's go ahead and go back into the home and we're going to see the rest of the hallway, the other bedroom. So we're back into the hallway. We're almost back into our social area, but not just that. So we're gonna walk into this second bedroom. Now this one is approximately the same size as the other bedroom. Now in this case, you could fit a full size bed in here very comfortably, possibly a queen size bed. And in this case, we have a double pane window, tempered glass that goes out facing the front of the home. If somebody's in here and they kind of just want to see the outside, maybe instead of sitting out in the heat, they can stay here and drink their coffee. This is perfect. Now we do have a bigger closet in this in this room. Let's just go ahead and take a look. It's a lot bigger than the other one. In this case, I can't touch either side, but we do have that standard shelf here. You can change it up however you would like. So we're gonna go back out into the hallway and we're gonna go ahead and right, it's kind of like diagonal, but basically in the front, we have our third bedroom. So we're gonna cut through the hallway and now we're walking into our third bedroom. Now this one is perfect for a guest room or if you kind of want to have your guests with a little bit more privacy, they can be in that back room and this could be um, room for you know people who live with you. Now in this case, we do have the window that is facing the backyard of the home, which is actually a really good sized yard. I really like the backyard and the lot in general of this home. So we'll see that in a few minutes. But in this case, you do have a closet. It is a little bit smaller than the second one probably about the same size as the first one, just so that you have an idea. I touch both sides, so that kind of gives you an idea of how big the closet is. So now we're gonna go out into our social area so we can see that beautiful kitchen that we've been waiting to see. So now we are in our kitchen area. Now I really like the kitchen because we have a lot of cabinet space in this kitchen. I know a lot of us, we want that big size kitchen. We want more cabinet space, more storage space. Now, unfortunately here in this one, we do not get a pantry, but as you can see, we have all this storage here. We have the sink with the window that's facing the back, because that's a plus. Ding, ding, ding. We have that here. Now in this case, we have a nice size island. It isn't your standard rectangular size island or your square. It's kind of like an odd shape here. You do have storage cabinets down here. So if you're having a family get together, it's actually a perfect concept here. You can put maybe drinks on this side, food on this side, and snacks on this side. This is great. In this case, the builder does include your refrigerator, your um, range, your stove, and your dishwasher. So you have all of the stainless steel appliances included here. Now we do have this little area right here, which is pretty interesting. It's kind of like a little storage for me. to put like small stuff in there. I just wanted to show you guys that. But from here, we have literally in front of it to the, well, to the right where I'm at. 
we have our dining area and it's really spacious. I like the distance between the kitchen and the wall. You have enough space to put a nice table, a nice square table or, or a round table that fits about five to six chairs. Um, very well in here. Now you can see the pattern that the floors have. I did mention that the bathrooms have the same one. And like I said, you do have the option for an upcharge to take out the carpets in the bedrooms and put a similar tile like this. Now we're going to go ahead and go through this um, tempered glass sliding board into the backyard so you can finally see this beautiful lot that we can have. So now coming out of the sliding door, you can see that we do have this concrete slab right here and it's not your standard size concrete slab. It's pretty big, honestly, you can probably just, if you want to lanai, just um, cover it over and put um, screens if you want to, or you can probably buy just like a canopy off Amazon and turn it into a little covered lanai. But I wanted you guys to see the beautiful yard that you have here. So if you, as you can see, like we have the property land that goes up to that pole over there and it continues all around, which you guys can actually see here in the drone footage, the entire lot in itself. But you definitely have enough room back here to put your pool. You can put a huge covered lanai back here and you still have all this space to put the pool that you want. You have no neighbors to the left of the home because we are on a corner lot. And in the future, they're possibly gonna be building right here, but as of right now, no neighbors. Now let's go ahead and see the primary bedroom of this home. So now we are gonna go into our primary bedroom, which I absolutely love. Immediately upon entry to this bedroom, you can see that we have our tray ceilings, and in this case, we do have the fan in this bedroom. And you can see that we have this beautiful window. I actually really like how the window that they chose for this um, room. You can see that it is facing the front of the home and as well as the side. It's actually a very spacious bedroom. So you can see that on this side, you can put your king size bed here. With your nice hands, there's definitely enough room for you to put that bed with the nice hands and no problem. And then over here, you can actually put a very big size dresser, a long one, and the TV on that side if you're somebody who does like the TV. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go see the walk-in closet of the home, which is actually a pretty spacious walk-in closet, as you can see, which is actually really nice if you're somebody who kind of likes to organize. You can put your shoes right here. It's perfect, the perfect shoe rack. We have the racks up here for all of your other clothes. And in this case, we have another entrance to the um, attic up here. So you have that, but you can see this is a grid size closet. Again, DIY kids, customize it and make it your own. Now let's go ahead and go into our primary bathroom of this home. So now we're coming out of this spacious shower. Now I really like the design. Again, they continue the same pattern of the floor throughout the wall with the ceramic tiles up to the ceiling. You again have your little shelf there for the soap. And I like that they picked the little square um, tiles that kind of coincide with the tiles in the floor and on the shower walls, it all ties together. Now, if you're somebody who does not like these types of doors, you can just get them switched out upon moving into the home. That way you kind of do it however you like, but it's still really nice. Now, in this case, we only have one sink in this bathroom, but if you're somebody who does want to, maybe just change up the vanity to your liking so that way you can have the two, but we definitely have all of these storage space down here, so you shouldn't have a problem. All it is is kind of getting the, um, plumbing redone so that way you can have the two sinks and we do have our light and our huge mirror so we can get ready with no problem. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the pricing and the financials of the home. Now I hope you enjoyed the tour of this beautiful home. I'm just gonna get right into it. This house sits on a 0.29 acre lot. It is a four bedroom, two bathroom home with a little over 1,400 square feet. And the pricing of this home is unbelievable for what you're getting. Now the pricing of this home is only $279,900. It is a great price for what you're getting, especially with the lot that we have. In the location that we have, we are only four minutes from that Winn-Dixie Plaza that we have on the street your family dollar, your pizza hut, a nice ice cream shop, which I actually want to do a video about so you guys can see this ice cream shop because they have amazing ice cream. As you guys know, we like to eat especially ice cream. <laughs> so now with that being said, if you want a personal tour of this home, give me a call. My number's here at the bottom of the screen. Now this community does not have an HOA or a CDD, so I'd be happy to show you any of the homes that we have here in this community or in any other community. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put all of the financial details and all the down payment and tax information down below in the description. So if you wanna know that information, just go ahead and read the description below. 
I want to be of assistance to you. I want to guide you from beginning to the end in your process of buying a home here in the state of Florida. And I want to help you win with me.